Hello everyone, today we are going to understand the variables and literals in Python. So Python variable. A variable in programming is used to store data. Variable is something like an empty box or a container which stores your information. For example, it stores the data you assign it to. For example, you can say data like string, like numbers or something like character, floating value, anything. So let me show you how you can store that. So let us consider we have a two empty boxes one is a and another is b and if you want to store a value of 10 inside a box a and value 15 inside a box b then let me show you how you can do that in python we also called this process as assigning the value to variable that is we are here assigning a value 10 to a by just saying that a equals 10 and assigning a value 15 to b by saying b equals 15 so now the container A holds the value of 10 and the container B holds the value of 15. So let us discuss about the changing variable values. For example, in the initial of your program, you have said A equals to 10 and later as the program proceeds and you are just updating a value or changing the variable value, then that is possible in Python. That is just you can just reassign the variable, for example, we can just say a equals 15 at the end of the program. So I have just taken an example where initially a equals 10 and then in the next line we have a equals to 15. So it is just that initially 10 was stored and later it's updated to 15 by using a equals 15. There are a certain set of rules in naming a variable. The first one is that you can write a variable name with alphabet capital letters and small letters and uh, using digits from 0 to 9 and you can even use underscore but you cannot start a variable name with a digit that is you cannot uh, write a variable name something like one number or, or digital one and number you can use underscore if you want to differentiate between two words and make sure you use a good variable name that makes sense because it's when you go with the bigger stuff then you will just tend to forget uh, the creepy words or that you use and there are some reserved words like for example we call them as keywords uh, that is if else except so make sure you don't use them because if you use them it will throw you an error so make sure you don't use a keyword as a variable now let us start our discussion with python literals so here i have an example that is number equals to 10.5 the number is actually a variable and the 10.5 is my literal moving on to the next we have numeric literals there are three numeric literals one is integer floats and complex example for an integer is a random number 1025 an example for float is 3.14 and example for complex is 1 plus 3j so you can just assign this as a equals to 1025 or something like b equals 3.14 c equals to 1 plus 3j numeric literals can also be represented as binary octal and hex in order to represent it as a binary number what you can do is you can assign it as a equals to 0 b where b stands for binary and then you can write your binary number 1011 this is an example which stands for 11 and let's take an example of octal so here i have write b equals to 0 o o stands for octal 310 this stands for 200 and let me take an example for hex that is 0 x x stands for hex 12c which stands for 300 so in this way we can represent a binary octal and hex and assign it to a variable moving on to the next one that is string literals so here i have three examples one is a string that is name equals to jack sparrow which is written in double quotes so in python you can write it in double quotes or single quotes so the second example is another underscore name equals to mike smith so here i have used a single quote so in order to find a character value what you can do is just name it as character equals to and just pass a single letter of alphabet and that stands for character and if you want to write a multi-line string what you can do is make use of triple quotes that may be single or double so in order to write a multiple line string what you can do is just enclose 
your whole sentence along with the new line characters in a triple quotes and in this way you can you are able to write a multi-line string and then you can assign it to any of the variable and even this is also used as a multi-line comment and it is also called as doc string coming to the next one is a boolean literal boolean only we have two values that is true and false and where the true stands for value one and false stands for value zero and this is case sensitive the whole python is case sensitive and it is like you cannot use a small letter t as true and it's not equal to the capital letter t so make sure you write a uh, correct spelling because it's a uh, case sensitive coming to the final topic of today's topic that is python comment in programming comment is used to describe what is going inside a program and in python we describe this using a hash we type the hash and then we start our comment and we can see here I have written hash this is a comment which is highlighted in red color is your comment and a equals to hello user is your actual code that's it for today my name is Nilesh Shalaki and I hope you enjoyed this video